The Lazy Peon. What's up guys and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you some really good add-ons and the user interface add-on I use after getting so many requests for it. So probably the most important add-on I use is called LVUI. This is an interface add-on that's highly customizable, very user friendly and easy to set up. So to install LVUI you need to download it from this website, www.tuckui.org. And don't worry, it's totally legit and virus free. After you've downloaded it, drag the folder to your local disk, program files, World of Warcraft interface add-ons folder, or wherever you've decided to install World of Warcraft, and extract the files. This is how you manually install an add-on without an add-on client like Curse. I'm pretty sure LVUI isn't on Curse because it's updated quite a lot. So once you've installed LVUI, you'll log into the game and you'll get a setup tutorial like this. Just click through everything, setting it up to your preference. I like to go with class colours because it helps me differentiate the different classes. Physical DPS, continue. Aura bars and icons, continue, finished. So then it will refresh. And this is where the work will actually begin. So now we're back in. We press slash LVUI to bring up the LVUI interface. And here you can enable your action bars under action bars and just enable the ones you want to use. There we go, disable the ones you don't want to use. And that's that. You can also enable the micro bar, which is this thing where you have your mount tab and everything. And then you can also enable your bag bar if you so wish and it will refresh the page again. So now we're back in, we're going to type slash LVUI and then click toggle anchors and this is the part that makes this add-on so great. All these frames can be easily and precisely moved either via dragging or by using these arrows to precisely move them. This means you can make everything symmetrical and we all love a good symmetrical UI. So now I'm going to fast forward this video until I've finished setting everything up. Okay, so now I've set everything up, there's just one more thing I want to show you. If you type slash LVUI, click on your action bars and then click keybind mode. It gives you a really quick and easy way of setting up your keybinds. You just hover your mouse over the ability you want to keybind. Press um, what you want it what key you want it bound to and it will just set up for you. Easy. So I just want to show you guys the add-on setup I've got on my combat rogue. I've got an add-on called Bandit's Gill Helper to keep track of Deep Insight, which is the damage buff that combat rogues have to track. And I've placed that there. I've also got a Tell Me When For when Blade Flurry is active, which is right next to it, which is handy. I've also got a Tell Me When For Slice and Dice, Reveal and Strike, Killing Spree and Adrenaline Rush. This means I don't have to constantly be looking down at my abilities. I can just look up here at my Tell Me Whens and it will let me know what's going on. 
In hindsight, I could probably use a few more tell me whens to keep track of things like kick, death from above, and possibly vanish, evasion, and cloak of shadows, but I haven't got around to doing that yet. So now we're going to take a look at the add-on called Tell Me When. Tell Me When is really useful for keeping track of cooldowns because you can place it in an area that is more visually accessible to you. So we're going to keep track of Avatar. So to create a new Tell Me When, click that. Choose spells to check. And you want to shift click Avatar and it will copy the spells ID in. Have it usable 100%, unusable 100% and I always have Show Timer ticked and a show timer text ticked. OK and then press slash tell me when to get rid of that and you'll see avatar appear here. Now when we use avatar it will show that it's got a three minute cooldown and once avatar comes back up it'll show that it's available. It's just much more visually accessible and helpful. So for my damage meter I like to use Skada over Recount just because I think it looks better, it's more customizable and I've never really had any problems with it so I'd definitely recommend downloading Skada as your damage meter. Okay now for an add-on that I'd recommend to absolutely everyone for this expansion. It's called Handy Notes Draenor Treasures. When you use your map it'll show the location of all the treasures and rares on Draenor. Once you've collected them it won't appear anymore which makes it really easy to keep track of them. For example there's a treasure here. Collect it and it should disappear. Disappear, yes. So yeah, definitely install that. Another add-on I sometimes use is TomTom. Tom. This is useful if you need to go online and find something out. Because a lot of players will often uh, post coordinates to the location of things. So in that case you can just use TomTom Tom to copy and paste the coordinates into the game and find whatever you're looking for. A good auction add-on I like to use is Auctionator to help me buy the cheapest things off the auction house and post things really cheap if I want to undercut people. I also use an add-on called Postal for um, emptying my post. You just click Open All so it saves a bunch of clicking. So the final add-on I want to talk about is called Deadly Boss Mods. You've probably already got it installed, most people have. It's an add-on that just helps you out with the tactics of a boss fight if you haven't researched it before. So that's it for this video guys, sorry if it wasn't up to the same standard as some of my other videos. I'm not really great at showing add-ons and talking at the same time because I can't multitask to save my life. If you've got any questions about these add-ons leave a comment and I'll try and answer them all. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.